Hi traders, this is a specific video for the advanced moving average crossover system for the MQL5 market. Uh, so, once you've received your product link, um, which will be an executable file, you need to install it in the MT4 indicators folder. And to get to there, you just click File, Open Data Folder, and you'll then see a Windows Explorer window. Go down to the MQL4 folder, open the indicators folder, and then drop your EX4 moving average crossover system uh, or file into this folder. Then when you go back into MetaTrader, open the navigator. If you don't know how to do that, just press Control and N and right click on any particular uh, indicator, click refresh, and you'll now see the advanced MA crossover MQL5 market tool in your list of custom indicators so simply drag it onto your chart and click OK and you'll now see the two moving averages um, just to make this a little bit bigger so we've got uh, a fast and a slow moving average and we've also got the crossovers where those these moving averages cross over we've got a little alert system popping up as you can see and let's just talk you through some of the controls. So we load up the external input parameters. I'm just going to change the interval between alerts to 60 seconds. Because otherwise we're going to get blown away by alerts. So you can see here we've got an MA alert cross down on GBP USD 60. Uh, you can see that cross down there, we're being alerted to that cross. It's a printed cross, so the reason we're getting alerts is because the candle is basically forming now, where, and the actual physical crossover took place in the last chart period. So we can go back into the indicator, we can change any of these parameters we wish. So if we want to change the periods for the moving averages, make it a longer moving average, say 20 periods, you can see that change has now been rippled through. We can also change the calculation basis. So uh, if I want to change the calculation method to exponential, you can see that those moving averages are now changed. And they're now hugging price action a bit more closely. In the same way, I can go to the applied price and change that to any of the MT4 price calculations or price applications that you want. I can shift the moving average by X periods if I wish to. And I can change the crossover mode to false, so you'll get crossovers when the moving average is touched temporarily. So you'll see here we're getting MA touch alert, possible cross down on GBPUSD 60. You can see this cross here. And let's have another look at what else we have. Um, we've got use the MT4 pop up alerts. So if I set that to false, we won't get any pop ups anymore, but we will see the alert being triggered in the experts tab down here so when a, when a tick comes in you'll see basically the, an MA touch alert possible cross down etc and let's go back into the external input parameters um, I can set up email alerts if I want to so if you set email alerts to true the system will then send email alerts to the designated MT4 email account here so you need to set those details up on your MT4 platform and if email alerts are configured in the advanced moving average crossover indicator you will receive an email alert. We can set the minimum time between alerts in seconds, we can define the maximum number of alerts as well. We can also reset the alert counter after X minutes. What I'd recommend is you synchronize your alert counter to the same period as your chart. So. In this case, I'm running on an hourly chart, so I want to reset my alert counter after 60 minutes. I can also reset the alert counter when a new candle is received, which is exactly the same thing as resetting after 60 minutes on an hourly chart, but hopefully that gives you a bit more flexibility. I can also change the arrow codes. These are windings codes, so at the moment I'm using 233 and 234. If you want to see the uh, windings codes, just go to the help and Actually, if you go click this little book here, which is the MetaQuotes language editor, open that up, and you'll come. You'll see a screen which looks a little bit like this. 
you won't have anything to start with so let's just close these little programs down that I've been working on and to see the windings all you've got to do is click help and then go to MQL4 reference and then just type in windings in this search up here and scroll down to the windings here and you can now see all the windings codes which allow you to specify the exact error codes you wish so you can obviously print those out and keep those as a reference if you wish to so that's how you get the set the windings codes and that is pretty much it um, oh yeah system information alerts if you set that to false that will um, it basically will suppress um, so sorry if you set it to true it will suppress the system information alerts when the alert counter is reset and all that kind of stuff so it just it just declutters the system for you on, a, on an ongoing basis so you don't get overwhelmed by alerts so that is a quick overview of the advanced moving, moving average crossover system for uh, MT4 finally uh, using conjunction with alerts pro that's um, basically uh, an additional package which is a voice synthesis system um, which we'll be um, putting onto the MT, uh, MQL4 market soon. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.